close video Al Jardine of the Beach Boys has a fond memory of Bob Saget, dating back to the late actor's full house days. Jardine, best known as the band's rhythm guitarist and one of the group's founding members, got the chance to film an episode of Full House with his bandmates Mike Love, Bruce Johnston, Carl Wilson, and Brian Wilson in 1988. The episode was titled Beach Boy Bingo and saw Saget in his role as Danny Tanner, John Stamos as Jesse Katsopoulos, Dave Coulier as Joey Gladstone, and the rest of the Tanner family attending a concert of the American rock band. In an exclusive statement shared with Fox News Digital, Jardine recalled meeting Saget for the first time on the set. In 1988, John Stamos invited the Beach Boys to be on Full House, which is where we originally met Bob Saget. He was very nice to us and thanks to that episode, a whole new audience discovered the Beach Boys, Jardine, 79, said. At the end of the show, we invited the Tanner family to join us on stage and we all sang Barbara Ann together, you could tell Bob was having the best time and the crowd loved it. Jardine added. Jardine was one of countless celebrities who paid tribute to Saget following his sudden death at a hotel in Orlando, Florida on Sunday. He took to Instagram, sharing a photo of the Beach Boys' guest appearance. We'll really miss you Bob, Jardine captioned the post. Saget starred as the squeaky clean patriarch in Full House from 1987 until 1995. He reprised his role for the Netflix reboot Fuller House, which ran from 2016 until 2020. He was also heard as the narrator on How I Met Your Mother, which aired for nine seasons on CBS. Saget is also being remembered as the wisecracking host of America's Funniest Home Videos. Deputies in Orange County, Florida, were called Sunday about an unresponsive man in a hotel room at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando and found Saget dead, according to a sheriff's statement on Twitter. Detectives found no signs of foul play or drug use in this case. He was 65. Saget was married to Kelly Rizzo since 2018. He also leaves behind three daughters he shared with ex-wife Sherry Kramer. Following Saget's death, Rizzo issued a statement to Fox News. My whole heart. Bob was my absolute everything, she said. I am so completely shattered and in disbelief. I am so deeply touched by the outpouring of love and tribute from our friends, family, his fans and his peers. When the time is right and when this news is not as raw, I look forward to sharing more of Bob with the world. Sharing how much he meant to me, all of those around him, and how much all of his fans and friends meant to him as well, the statement continued. Thank you for respecting my privacy at this time. Saget's full house castmates are also grieving over his untimely death. 35 years ago, we came together as a TV family, but we became a real family. And now we grieve as a family, Saget's co-star and life friend Stamos wrote in an emotional Instagram tribute to the comedian and actor on Monday. Bob made us laugh until we cried. Now our tears flow in sadness, but also with gratitude for all the beautiful memories of our sweet, kind, hilarious, cherished Bob, Stamos continued. He was a brother to us guys, a father to us girls and a friend to all of us. Bob, we love you dearly.
We ask in Bob's honor, hug the people you love. No one gave better hugs than Bob. The Uncle Jesse performer signed the scribe with the names of his fellow co-stars, John, Dave, Candace, Jody, Lori, Andrea, Scott, Jeff, Ashley and Mary-Kate. 